The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Number six, we have a question in which we're given a graph, so I'm going to recreate it real quick so I can illustrate my point. Um, we have a parabola looking section uh, starting at the origin or coming down to the origin. We have a straight line section starting at 0, 2, crossing through to 0, down to 3, negative 1. And then we have something that goes up like that. So we're asked which of the following is correct. So first we have f is increasing from negative 1 to infinity. That's definitely not true because you can see even right here on the negative 1 to 0 part, this graph is decreasing. Remember, increasing and decreasing, you always calculate in going from left to right. So as we go from left to right here, this function is going down. So that is definitely not true. B says f is 1 to 1. Well, for a function to be 1 to 1, it has to pass the horizontal line test. You can see here that drawing a horizontal line somewhere here definitely crosses more than one place. So this function is not 1 to 1. F has the local minimum value negative 1. So that here is true because when they say the minimum value what you're talking about is the y value. Another way of reading that choice is the lowest y value on this graph is negative 1. That is absolutely true because this point right here is the absolute lowest point on the graph and it has a y value of negative 1. So that is true. And let's just show quickly why t is false. d says f of 0 is 0. That means if you plug in 0 to the function, you should get 0. If that were true, there would be a point at the origin. But there's not, because that's an open circle. In this case, the point is here, which tells you that f of 0 equals 2, because that's where your point is. So that one is false. So we have answer choice C here, the only one that's correct on this graph. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.